I'm going to introduce the woman that the story is about, who inspired the movement. That's I know you're going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Shala's uh, uh, proposal because I appreciated uh, the show of the film so much. Uh, but I never expected it would be a film that would show in uh, the theater. <laughs> you know, I thought it would be, okay, yeah, this is, uh, uh, this was actually, I think, before Netflix, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it years ago. <laughs> I realized that uh, not only would other people be learning about that era, and of course, you know, my position was that I'm not that interested in something that focuses on me. I've always been that way. Uh, uh, I've always been rather shy. I, I like to work uh, not at the center, but uh, in the background, because I think that that's the most important work that, that gets done. And, and so I thought it might be important for young people uh, who didn't experience that era, as well as for people who did experience the era, to um, remember that there was this important victory. Because oftentimes we struggle and we struggle, but we have no evidence of the fact that our work actually will make a difference in the world. So here was an example of, 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 of a challenge to the government. Uh, Richard Nixon was the president, and Ronald Reagan was the governor of California, and no one would have ever predicted that uh, that it would be possible to win, regardless of that innocence. And to show the way in which this movement developed all over the country and literally all over the world and completely transform uh, the, the courtroom uh, and made it possible for, for that acquittal to happen, 
That was a story I thought that we, we could all uh, be inspired by. And especially young people who have not had the opportunity to experience the fruits of their struggles. And so uh, that was primarily why I agreed. But then, as I was saying before, I learned things from the film that I didn't know myself. I, I hope that other people would learn. But I never knew how I was caught by the FBI. And I never knew that story until I saw the interview that she did with uh, uh, the FBI agent. Probably. Well, well, let's see, 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 I don't even know who's that. <laughs> <laughs> she knows so much more than I do. <laughs> and, I, and, and I knew that at the time that it was absolutely incredible that they used all of these resources to try to catch me. And then when I saw that interview and realized that they had they had gone into all the public parking lots in, 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 in New York, in Manhattan. And you know, how much did that cost? <laughs> <laughs> I said, that is uh, an incredible story. But also, I did know the story about the girlfriend of David um, So, So it was kind of shocking to me. Uh, uh, to, to learn these things 40 years later. <laughs> but uh, I suppose I should say again, congratulations to Shonda. And to um, Overbrook. I'm sorry that I guess Jada had to fly off to the past. Today, something came ah. um, And thank all of you. Thank you very much.